it seems to me we're, we're creatures of appetite. In fact, all the creatures of the earth are creatures of appetite. There's a whole host of appetites of survival and sex and food and you know, pleasure or whatever, so an avoidance of pain. So they're the, the driving forces of organisms. And humans are no exception. We, you know, our, our appetites are more complex and harder to gratify, it seems. But in answer to what you were just asking, and this is maybe a loose, loose way of coming back to it, it seems to me that if we can get those appetites aligned into something positive, into something whole, something holistic, and that atonement, you know, I, I just love that word, you know, Christianity calls it atonement, yeah. which I think puts a different bent on Very it. Very different, but, yeah. But what was Christ saying? He was saying at one meant, you know. So if uh, we can't suppress appetites, and I don't think that's a useful effort, right? But if we can align those appetites so that they get satisfied by um, coming to a holistic conclusion, we have a the sacred place held in sacred it's a big word, if. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. And if, that's where dreams begin. And we, we need reality. Um, if we could uh, align all those appetites that correspond to the whole, the need of the whole being, well, that, uh, yes, that would answer everything. So the question is, how to do it? How, where do we begin? Uh, what knowledge is needed, what experience is needed, what ideas are needed, what methods, practical methods like meditation or whatever are needed. What, what one needs is a whole teaching that can help us.